Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day that's plain to see Welcome to Bill Dance Outdoors, America's most popular and longest running TV fishing show. Now I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today. Welcome back. When we left last week, these two illustrious anglers were hard at it, trying to catch a few nice bass while passing along a mere fraction of their vast knowledge of this sport. In Bassin Aquatic Vegetation Part 2, Bill and his good friend and fisheries biologist, Freddie Langford, are going to send your way some more information that'll help you find and catch fish. Freddie's background in his field goes all the way back to his childhood. From there, he studied biological sciences and fisheries management at Auburn University. As a student, Freddie worked with Auburn Aquaculture and Fisheries Research in 1969 and 1970. Over 50 years of experience has led Freddie to the conclusion that habitat, water clarity, and balanced fertility are essential to the growth of large bass. Let's climb back into the boat with them and see what we can learn. Hey Freddie, let me ask you this question. What does vegetation do for a lake? Vegetation provides a sub-ecosystem. It provides a habitat for small organisms like invertebrates, aquatic insect larvae like mayflies, dragonflies. So it provides kind of a sub-ecosystem, like, kind of like a coral reef does out in, out in the ocean. A place where fish can hide but where other organisms can grow. Like a home. Like a home, yeah. It's a habitat. We call it habitat. So it's like habitat, habitation. It's a home and it also can help with water quality. So this emergent vegetation is mostly habitat, but submerged vegetation has so much surface area that it can actually act as a filter or provide a surface for an algae that competes with the plankton so that the water gets more clear. So it's a, it can act as a habitat and it can act as a, a water quality improvement. So everything has to have good habitat. So vegetation provides that, right? It provides a place. You know, if, if you're looking at a mayfly or a dragonfly, or, uh, a damselfly, these flying bugs, they live in the water first and they have to have a place, a place to sit, as someone I've heard say. So they need a substrate. And it's important in a lot of lakes because the bottom substrate sometimes because of the age of the lake has accumulated sediment and that, that uh, substrate's not high quality. But emergent vegetation comes up off of that bottom and it provides a clean place to sit. So submersed vegetation even provides the same thing, like snails live on that, those blades of eelgrass and shell crackers eat the snails. And so you've got a, a food web started just because of that increased surface area. Ooh. What you got? I've got a bass and a heavy one too. Ooh, uh, keep him out of the trolling motor, Bill. I'm doing just that. Are you gonna need any help with that? Oh boy. I may. I might just need a little bit in a minute. I haven't seen him yet. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh boy. Wow. Look at Ooh. that, look at that bulldog. That sucker go. I'm gonna catch him right in the mouth. Mm. Way to go, Freddy. Got him. Look at that Good big job, chunk. Mr. Bill. Is that a male or a female? That's a definitely a female. See that big red pimple right back yeah. here? Uh -huh. All right. So this fish hadn't spawned. Well, probably has spawned. That's that, that red there, yeah. that shows there's been a lot of activity. Okay. All right, see ya. Bill Dance Outdoors. Sponsored by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Rebel. Catch fish anywhere. 
and by Mercury Marine. Go boldly. Today's Conditions Log is sponsored by Outdoor Water Solutions, offering pond and lake aeration systems with energy-saving solutions, including solar and wind, customized to fit your need. Visit OutdoorWaterSolutions.com for quality aeration products. Slow yeah, this thing has got tremendous action. Just work it slow. Is that what you do with this thing? Oh, 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 I got a good one. Oh, I got a real good one. Oh. <coughs> he is fighting, isn't he? Yeah, well, that thing fighting. Yeah, those big ones don't come up. <coughs> okay. Oh, yeah, it is a good one. Oh, yeah. He's getting the best. Okay, he's getting the best out of me. <laughs> what are you, doing? you need some help? I'm going to come out of came up. All right. Oh, I'm, I ain't had practice on these big fish. Oh, he's, he's mad. He's, he's full of himself. There goes the one. Mm -hmm. oh. That fish whipped me. I know yeah. he did. I mean, with me watching. <laughs> it felt like it weighed 14 pounds. I guess it's just strong. He's a pretty one. Yeah. I think I had a loose drag. Well, bye bye. You about killed him. About killed me watching. Recently, I made a great move. I partnered up with the good folks at Outdoor Water Solutions for all my lake and pond products. You know, they make some great aeration systems and manufacture solar, wind, and electric options so I can always find the products to suit my needs. What you're really doing is two things. You're aerating and destratifying because water changes density with temperature. It's a big heat sponge and as soon as that sunlight hits that surface water, it absorbs that heat and changes density and becomes light so that it never mixes during the summertime with the cooler layer down below. So that thing we call the epilimnion is where the oxygen is produced and the oxygen stays there because it can't mix with that cooler layer because it can't penetrate the density barrier. And a lot of people talk about their top pond turning over in the summertime. It really doesn't turn over in the summertime. The algae may die, the plankton may die, and it may turn brown and look like it turned over, but it really didn't turn over. You had a die off of some kind but you didn't really have a turnover. So what that aerator does is it does what nature does when the surface water cools in the wintertime. In the wintertime, the cold nights cause the surface water to increase in density and then it turns over just by the cooling of the surface water and becomes unstratified or delayered. But in the summertime, it becomes layered and you need some aeration to have- a, to turn it back to, over. To turn it over and to make the entire volume of the lake livable so it has oxygen at the surface and oxygen at the bottom. Boy, that tail's just getting it, ain't it? Ribbon tail? The ribbon tail. Ribbon tail. Because it's just doing this the whole time. There's, There's a fish. Ooh. Got another good fish. What you got there? I've got a fish. Think you can handle that? Yeah, I can handle him. Wow! Uh, it just came out from under the boat, just a blowing and a going. Oh my. Son. Okay, buddy. Oh, that hook's just about to come out. Don't jump, don't jump, you don't jump, it. don't Oh no. Oh boy. Oh. Oh baby, you got it. Look at that. Got it. Look at that hook was just about to come out. You see him come out from under that boat? Hey, looked like he was attacking the boat. He was. Hello. Okay. Today's show is brought to you in part by 
Quantum Rods and Reels. Quantum Performance Tuned. Mystic Lubricants. Lubrication Domination. And Tracker Boats. Fish the Finest. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley Catch More Fish. Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. And by Garmin. Fight your fish, not your fish finder. Today's equipment log is brought to you by Gamakatsu. Because the fish of a lifetime only comes once in a lifetime. You know, a lot of people, when they stock a pond, they start out and they put these little fingerling bass in about like that. Mm -hmm. And it takes a blue moon to grow a fish this big, you know. Yes, sir. And people that want trophy fish, they, they want to start catching fish. Mm -hmm. They build a pond, they build a lake. You know the difference in a pond and a lake? What's that? It's whether you're buying or selling. <laughs> so they, they, build a, they build a little lake, they build a pond. And they want to start catching some decent sized fish in it. And yeah. that's where you would come in. Right. You could put in some nice sized fish and grow some nice sized fish rapidly. Mm -hmm. And so, how do you feel about that? As far as, you know, you put these little bitty fish in and they do it all the time. State yeah. agencies stock mm -hmm. little bitty fish. Right. But I'd 10 times rather go with, mm -hmm. you know, a bigger sized fish. Yep. Yeah. There's a time and a place for both. There's a time and a place to do the the little fish, but there's also a good time to do adult fish. And if it's a small enough pond, you can do adult females so that all your productivity is going towards something that's going to grow big. Uh, and you're not going to be wasting your your food supply on a, a little male that's not going to grow very big. So, so the advantage is of stocking just females, you don't have to worry about getting overstocked. That's right. You don't have to have the crowded bass syndrome. Right. And uh, you may occasionally have to kind of replace some because there's going to be hooking mortality and other forms of mortality. Yep. But you can just, once you get it going, uh, you can replace some every more couple of years. More and more people are going to the female stocking. A lot, of, a lot of people are asking for females only. Yep. Yeah. Yep. See that point right there? Yes, sir. I, about over a year ago, I caught a 10 pound bass on that point. What'd you catch it on? Cordell Redfin. I used to work for Cordell Lure Company. When did you catch that fish? About a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago. Caught it on a Cordell Redfin? I fin? caught it on a Cordell Redfin. Uh -huh. you, you can prove that? You act like you don't believe me. Well, I, I got, I, I got, I, I got, I, you little jerk. <laughs> I, I, I got video to prove it. Well, I mean, let's go. Uh, okay, watch this. I'll prove it to you. Oh, let's go over there and prove it. No, we're, it's, all right, we're coming up on it. Hey, I'll, I'll watch this video and I'll prove it okay. to you. Okay. Right, watch this. All right. Got one. I got a, oh, I got another one of these tuggers. Oh, go around the trolling motor, please. He did, he just did perfect. He's a horse, all right. Oh, yeah, he's a big fish. Now he's getting his win again. He's a big old fish. So big he can't even jump. Easy Bill, that's a big fish. Ooh, that fish has fought hard. Oh, let me just get my hands in your mouth, you big hole. Ooh. What a fish. I've caught a couple like that. Oh. Let me just, I know I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, that bait right there. Woo. 
Good prize. All right, I'm gonna turn you loose. Oh, oh, oh. We're going back, baby. Go home. I guarantee that fish is 10 plus. The Bill Dance Question and Answer of the Week is brought to you by Bill Dance Exclusive Rods by Quantum. Whether you're fishing for panfish, bass, catfish, or light saltwater, we have an action for you. Available at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Have you ever tried Berkeley's Power Bait for Catfish? Yep. It's a highly effective attractor. You know, I've heard catfishmen talk about it for years, but I've never really tried it until now. I'm amazed. It's really powerful stuff that really works. It makes any bait taste and smell alive, and it's very easy to apply. Just flip the cap and squirt it on. Power bait, it really works. Today's show is sponsored in part by Berkeley, catch more fish. Bill Dance exclusive rods by Quantum. And by Garmin, bite your fish, not your fish finder. Today's product tip is brought to you by Garmin and their GPS map series sonar combos. With advanced sonar technology like Chirp and exclusive panoptics all-seeing sonar, you'll spend less time finding your fish. Anglers looking for a way to make their smaller boats stay put in shallow water? Check out the PowerPole Heavy Duty Spike. The spike helps hold small boats exactly where you want to keep them. It also secures the bow of a bass boat that has power poles. Each spike comes with a nylon dock line and push grips to help you easily sink it into sand or mud. Need to stay steady in one spot? Spike that spot. You can fish there as long as you wish. Come be part of Bill Dance Digital. Join us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Follow us. It's, it is, it's black light. Black, black light. light. Yep, you know, we've been talking about all the positive things. Let's talk about negative. What is detrimental? What there's got to be detrimental vegetation. Mm -hmm. All right. What would be detrimental to a body of water? What type of vegetation? Well, the type of vegetation is the, the right the right question because let's say water hyacinths, a floating uh, type oh, okay. of vegetation like duckweed, water hyacinths, water lettuce, water lettuce, salvinia, things that float because they can cover the whole lake or pond because they're not limited by the depth of the water. Uh, rooted plants are limited by the depth of the water because they, they have to have sunlight. But it doesn't matter how deep it is, a floating plant like a water hyacinth can grow anywhere. It can absolutely just kill a lake totally. It can kill it and cover it, put a blanket over it, the sunlight can't reach. No photosynthesis. Yeah. Well, how, how big a part does the sunlight play in creating oxygen in a body of water? In this body of water we're in right now? Well, any body of water. In, that's what I'm saying. I was just saying this one as an example. Okay. That's where it comes from. So the water surface has a thing called surface tension. So that, that's why when you fall on the lake and do a belly buster, it hurts. It's a, it's a shield. And atmospheric oxygen can't go through there. That's why in fish farms they have paddle wheels to break that surface tension. So the oxygen in the water has to, to come from below the surface in the water column as sunlight penetrates and, call, and starts the, the reaction we call photosynthesis. Right. It reacts with the chlorophyll in the plants and that little factory gets going and a byproduct of that, the plant takes carbon dioxide and water and produces sugar and oxygen as a byproduct. And so if the lake is covered, then oxygen can't get there because that floating plant the leaf of it, it's photosynthesizing, but all of its oxygen is going up into the atmosphere. So the water hyacinth in itself is not detrimental. It's just that they don't know how to stop. They, they, you get a solid mat of water hyacinths. You know, this flipping and Carolina rigging is a fun way to fish. Sure it is. Especially like, if you're catching them. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that makes sense, doesn't it? Is that what makes it fun? 
What? Oh, oh, I got a, I got a hook, good one. Set it. I got, I got a good one. Ooh. Rock you up, up, ready? All right, re 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 reel up a little slack. Okay. All right, I'm gonna get him. You got him? Oh, oh. No. Nope. Well, I'm gonna hit you with the rock. Let me get a hold of him. Feisty fish. Golly, just splashed me. <laughs> I can't even see out of my glasses. Right, fish right. does not want to give up. Right, pull up on your line, pull up on your line. I can't get him. Oh, my God. <laughs> I couldn't see out of my glass. <laughs> Shut up, pretty. Did you see how short this fish is? Yeah. Look how thick that tail is. They're full of it. They weigh a lot more per inch than you yep. think they do. That's another female, too, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See you, you little rascal. Right. Thank you for helping me get the fish in the boat, Bill. You're welcome. We've been buddies for over 40 years. Since 1980. That's yes, first 1980. Yes, sir. I can figure that up. <laughs> 80, 2000. That's how I know. Yeah, it's, 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 the hardest three years of my life was the first grade. Yeah. 20 and 20 is 40. That's yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> right. But uh, but I appreciate you sharing it a couple of days with me. And uh, uh, it's been fun. I thank you for letting me share the time with okay, you. Okay, buddy. It's been a lot of fun. I've learned a lot hey, from you, sir. No, we'll do it again. Thanks for watching Bill Dance Outdoors. Join us here again next week. No, I've gone fishing with Bill Dance today.